Hey, welcome back to Catch 22. Right now we're going to be uh, talking with Debbie Bell, which is a registered landscape architect, and Carl Kelly, which is the Water Resources Director for Newton County. Thank you two for coming on Catch 22 Thank today. You. Debbie, tell us a little bit about what you do for the county. I'm the county arborist and I review plans for new development, both residential and commercial, okay. for compliance with the tree and landscape ordinance. But another aspect that I look at on plan review is to make sure that they're showing buffers for streams and lakes appropriately. Okay, all right. Great, great. Carl, tell us a little bit about what you do for the county. Uh, I'm the Water Resources Director for Newton County. In the Water Resources Department, I'm responsible for the drinking water supply that goes to all of our utility of customers. I'm also responsible for erosion and sediment control inspections on developments that to go on in the county. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to this segment because I need education in both of these um, um, avenues. So let's go. Let's just jump in. What is a stream buffer? Let's talk about that real quick. A stream buffer is a forested strip of land that runs usually parallel with the stream on both sides of the stream. Okay. Right. And why is that really important for people to realize or for people to understand that in Newton County? Well, stream buffers perform a variety of functions, but probably one of the most important ones is that they protect and preserve water quality. Okay, all right. Um, tell, us, um, tell us how the stream buffers protect and preserve water. Uh, in the county here? Well, they're the last line of defense between human activities and the stream itself. So they provide several benefits. They reduce erosion. The leaves and the branches and the trees of the buffer catch the raindrops and intercept them and slow down the velocity. And the roots and the leaves that the trees drop every year help control erosion and stabilize the soil in the buffer and along the stream banks. So, and the buffers filter stormwater runoff. They remove sediment and other pollutants from the water before it gets to the stream. And this has other economic benefits that impact water resources and water production for human use. Carl? Okay. Water, drinking water that we all drink every day, if it doesn't come from a well, it's manufactured. Okay. It's actually made from stormwater runoff uh, in North Georgia and in the Southeast in general all the water that we drink comes from surface runoff. So as that water runs off into streams and reservoirs, okay. uh, it carries with it pollutants that we have to take out when we treat the water. The raw water that we take out of the reservoir is chemically and mechanically treated so that it's, uh, it's made pure and safe for human consumption. The buffers reduce the amount of pollutants and toxins that get into the streams and therefore reduce the cost of our, of our treatment. Okay, all right. So in the county, mm -hmm. um, getting back to kind of what you do, Debbie, in the county when a, um, I guess, a subdivision is being planned right. or something like that, um, you will be the one who um, looks at, I guess, the plans and kind of determines what what you need to do or what they need to do as far as getting it all taken care of? Right. I visit the site and I walk the site and look for streams and make sure that they're shown on the plans and make sure that the right buffer is shown on the plans. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to um, take a break very, very quickly. Uh, this is going to be our first break and we'll be back in just a second uh, with these two as um, Catch-22 continues. 